it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween. So for the last two years, I showed you guys my Halloween routine as a mom, you know, with my husband, August, and our kids. But now that I have a brand new job, I thought it would be so cool to show you guys my Halloween as an elementary school teacher. If you guys didn't know, I now teach fourth grade and it's been so much fun. And the kids have been working really hard so I thought we would have a Halloween class party. And I'm so excited. So this is my outfit for the day. It's not a costume, but I did want to dress festive because I'm not a regular teacher, I'm a cool teacher. My shirt is a bit scandalous and I wanted to keep it appropriate because this cool teacher doesn't want to get fired. So I covered it up with this adorable pumpkin cardigan and I love it. It's so cozy and I love the fall vibes. And this year, my daughter Leah is a bunny. I decorated the classroom and I have so many fun activities for the kids today. So everyone is bringing a Halloween treat today. So Leah and I brought Halloween cupcakes with these little spiders on them and Halloween cookies. These look so good! They do! How about you go ahead and put them down on the table, okay? And the classroom is super cute, too! Okay! Okay, that looks really good. I can't wait to see what everyone else is gonna bring today. We also have this ginormous bowl of candy that everyone can help themselves to. I'll take one! Okay, go right ahead. I'll let it slide today, because it's Halloween. Okay, here's another look at the classroom. So this is the arts and crafts activity for the day we even brought in this ghost inflatable because if i'm decorating i am going full out as you guys already know it's so big i know i'm surprised i was able to fit it in the class <laughs> Is ringing and it sounds like my class is lining up outside hey class happy halloween you guys look so good hi miss collins hey colt okay let me see all your costumes hi guys by the looks of it i think you're an amazon worker that is a very clever costume i don't think i've seen that one yet Yes, I figured I'd be one considering they come to my house every day. Mine too. Yeah, we get a lot of Amazon packages. Okay, Colt, you can come on in and you can put all your goodies on the table in the back, okay? And then have a seat. Leah, you take your seat too. Sounds good. It all looks so nice. Okay. Oh, hi, Leah. Thanks. I hope you guys all like the decorations. Oh my goodness. Your costume is so spooky. You're a vampire. Hi, Miss Collins. <gasps> And you brought tombstone brownies? Well, just like Colt, you can go ahead and put them on the table and have a seat. And may I just say, you look good. <laughs> Thank you. I try. Hey, Sid. <gasps> oh my gosh. You are obviously going for the green theme this year. Hi, Mrs. C. I love it. You're like getting abducted by an alien. And you brought witch's brew. That's a really popular drink in our house right now. My mom showed me a video of a kid wearing this. It's so funny. It is funny. I love it. It looks really good on you. All right. If you need any help, let me know. But you can just kind of set the drinks over here in this empty corner. I'll probably do a bit of rearranging so we can make space for our other treat that's getting delivered a bit later today. All right. Who do we have next? <gasps> Shy! Oh my goodness, your fairy wings are gorgeous! Hi, Mrs. Collins. You brought kettle corn. That's my personal favorite. Did you and your family make it yourselves or did you buy it from the store? I mean, either one is fine. Kettle corn is kettle corn. Yep, we made it ourselves. Wow, I can't wait to try it. All right, come on in. Try to find the space for them. Here, actually, I'll move these out the way you can just line them up over there and i'll put these further back 
Oh, that fits perfectly. Then we can have the brownies over here and the cookies right there. Much better. All right, and last but definitely not least, hey, Violet. Happy Halloween, Mrs. Collins. Thank you. Happy Halloween to you, too. You brought ghost cookies. Spooky. Mm -hmm. Boo! <gasps> Wow, you kind of actually scared me there. You're Snow White. You look beautiful. I love it. You look like a true Disney princess. Come on in. I think your ghost cookies will fit perfectly right in between the Halloween cake and the pumpkin cookies. Thank you. No problem. All right, and that is it. Go ahead and take your seat, honey. I want to be daring, baby. Well, I'm glad to see all your adorable faces today. Once again, happy Halloween, everyone. It looks awesome in here. I'm glad you guys are a fan of the decorations. I love your taste in decor, Miss Collins. She did her thing. I know that's right. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna take attendance. I mean, everyone's here, so I'm just gonna put you guys all in the system. And then we'll get started with today's fun routine. Because we're not doing anything any real work today we're just having an awesome party all day long okay so i just finished taking attendance class you are all being so good this morning everyone put their bags down Violet, I have a question. Where did you get your costume? Actually, my mom made it. Oh, okay. Okay, class, quiet down, quiet down. I need to tell you guys what we're doing today. So I bet you're all wondering why you have these paper bags on your desk. Because there's no lunch in them, so what could we be doing with them? We are going to be making paper bag lanterns. I saw this on Pinterest, of course. So I thought it would be a really fun activity. There's paint, there's crayon, there's scissors, markers, just about everything you need on your desk. Someone else might have a different color than you that you want, so everyone share. Don't be stingy, and let's have a really fun day, okay? This is going to be so fun! Yes, I love making these with my mom and my little sister. My little brother made this too. I'm so excited. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, well then what are you waiting for? Get started! I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Yay! I'm doing a ghost. What are you doing, Vi? I'm not very creative, so... That's okay. I don't want my costume to get dirty. It's really really expensive. I think I'll just do a smiley face. I want to do a bat. Ooh, a bat sounds cool. I wanted to do a bat. You guys can do the same things. It's okay. So it looks like everyone is done with their paper bag lanterns. So I want to take a look. Okay, Colt, you did a smiley face. I worked so hard on mine. How do you like mine, Mrs. Collins? <gasps> The ghost is so cute. It matches the ghosts on the candy bucket. I love it. Thank you. No problem. Mine is so basic and boring. I'll give it a look in a second, Violet. Like mine? Oh, I love the sage green color. Yeah, yours looks really good. Let me come around. It's hard for me to squeeze by, so I'm just gonna have to take a look from here. Is mine good? Shy, I love the light pink color. That looks so good. It really fits your vibe. Violet, I know you said yours is basic but sometimes the simple things are good. And last but not least, let's look at Leah's. <gasps> Leah, you know I love yours. That is so cute. It's a little jack-o'-lantern. Everyone, you did such amazing jobs. Yes, it came out just the way I wanted. But guys, we have to do the best part. Remember, these are paper bag lanterns. So how about everyone turn on the candle and let's see them glow. Whoa, this room just got six times brighter. Wow, my ghost is lit. Mine isn't working. Oh no, here, let me see if I have an extra candle. Um, oh, I actually do. Okay, here you go. Let's see if this one works. No, don't be sad here. Let's switch it out. All right, now try it again. Oh, there we go. Turn that frown upside down, just like your bag. Way to stay positive, Violet. That was funny, Violet. Okay, we don't wanna waste the batteries, so go ahead and turn them off for now 
but you guys should definitely light these up at night maybe before or after you go trick-or-treating or use them as your trick-or-treating bags that'd be pretty awesome i'm putting mine on my porch that is a very good idea <laughs> who's ready for the next activity me ma'am what's the next activity mrs collins what is it what is it what is it tell me i am okay okay the next activity is gonna require us to go to the library. I'm so ready. Yay! Okay, so everyone is gonna get up quietly, as quiet as a little mouse, and we're going to walk down the hallway, and we're not gonna disturb any of the other classes, okay? I wanna be line leader. Okay, Leah, you can be the line leader today. Okay, no me. Okay, Sid, you can be the line leader on the way back. Your little hood is so cute, Leah. Thank you. Okay, Leah, I'll follow right behind you. I need to lock up the classroom, so go ahead and lead the class. Okay. Okay, so we have made it to the library. And we're gonna go over here, class. And everyone, get comfy, get cozy. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. We have a limited time here. Okay, so I'm sure you have all guessed what we're doing here. But I decided that I'd read a little Halloween story to you guys. It's a little spooky, a little silly. It's not too scary. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Yes, I can't wait. What's it called? Okay, so this story is called the hairy toe ew i know it's pretty gross what the i'm gonna throw up please don't there once was an old woman who went out in the woods to find something to cook for dinner she spotted something funny sticking out of the leaves and dug around until she uncovered a great big hairy toe there was some good meat on that toe which would make a real tasty dinner so the old woman put it in her basket and took it home would you guys take a toe home isn't that so weird that's unsanitary that's nasty what a toe yuck i know it's pretty gross okay let's see what happens sounds like daddy and his hungry so when she got back to her cottage the old woman boiled up a kettle full of hairy toe soup which she ate for dinner that night it was the best meal she'd had in weeks the old woman went to bed that night with a full stomach and a big smile she ate it Yes, yeah, she ate the toe. Ugh, I'm getting chills. That is so nasty. At about midnight, a cold wind started blowing around the old woman's house. A large black cloud crept over the moon. And from the woods, a hollow voice rumbled, Hairy toe! Hairy toe! I want my hairy toe! Inside the house, the old woman stirred uneasily in her bed and nervously pulled the covers up over her ears. From the woods, there came a stomp, stomp, stompy noise as the wind whistled and jerked at the treetops. In the clearing at the edge of the forest, a hollow voice said, Hairy toe! Hairy toe! I want my hairy toe! Inside the house, the old woman shuddered and turned over in her sleep. Guys, this is getting kind of scary. Stomp! 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 The sounds came from the garden path outside the cottage. The night creatures shivered in their burrows as a hollow voice howled, Hairy toe! Hairy toe! I want my hairy toe! Inside the house, the old woman snapped awake. Her whole body shook with fright, and she listened to the angry howling in her garden. Jumping out of bed, she ran to the door and locked it. Once the cottage was secure, she laid back down to sleep. How are you going to go to sleep after hearing that? Suddenly, the front door of the cottage burst open with a bang, snapping the door and sending it flying into corners of the room. There came a stomp. Stomp, stompy noise of giant feet walking up the stairs. Peeping out from under the covers, the old woman saw a massive figure in her doorway. 
It said, Harry Toe, Harry Toe, I want my Harry Toe. The old woman sat up right in terror and shouted, I ate your Harry Toe. Yes, you did. The giant figure said very gently as it advanced into the room. No one living in the region ever saw the old woman again. The only clue to her disappearance was a giant footprint a neighbor found pressed deep into the loose soil of the meadow beside the house. The footprint was missing the left big toe. Ah, I've had enough of that story. What did you guys think of it? Now that's just messed up. I know. I guess you shouldn't just eat toes you find in the woods. That was so yucky. I didn't like that. I've lost my appetite. You've lost your appetite? So nobody wants treats anymore? You shouldn't eat toes, period. Because if you guys don't want the treats, I'll eat them. I'll take them home. Actually, no, I'll eat them in my car because my husband might get to them. No, I want them. No. Oh, never mind. I got my appetite back. I sure do. Okay, well then let's head back to our class quietly and let's finish our Halloween party. Okay, so we're back from the library and we cleaned up all the desk with the art supplies and put it back in the cabinet over there. And we're about to begin our Halloween party, but... We're still waiting on one more special treat that I actually need to make some room for. I'm sure you guys can guess what else we're going to be having at this party. I gave you guys a little hint earlier. We have to wait for it to be delivered. And then we can finally eat all these yummy treats. But I really enjoyed telling the story to the kids. It was so much fun. Oh, speaking of the thing that needs to be delivered, class, I want you to welcome Mr. Collins. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Come on in. Thanks for picking up the pizza from Pizza Planet. Whoa, I've heard stories about you. Hey, shh, shh. We don't need to tell Mr. Collins that, okay? No prob. You can just go ahead and put the pizza over here. I just cleared up some space. You've heard what? Don't worry about it. All good things. All good things. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, that pizza looks nice and hot. Just like me. <laughs> just saying. Dang right. I see you went with the pumpkin costume. Yeah. You aren't staying for the party, Daddy? Nope. Sorry. But it's nice that he was able to stop by for a bit, right? I like your costume, Mr. Collins. Thank you. August, back away from the pizza. Put it down. No. Don't take us. Oh, my gosh. Okay, whatever. Okay. Are you kidding me? Bye-bye. Bye. Whatever. I'm so Sick of that man. Okay, well, we st at least he didn't take the whole pizza because that's that's actually more like him. But, okay, everyone, go ahead and grab all the snacks you want. Wait, actually, step back, step back, step back. Everyone gets one slice of pizza, not two, not three, not four. Everyone starts off with one. And then if we have leftovers, we can have another slice. If there's enough for everyone, okay? And don't say it's too small either. Now I'm gonna slowly walk away and you guys can go and grab your food and I'll just have whatever you guys don't end up taking. You'd always be mine. Well, I mean, there's no more pizza left for me, but that's okay. I probably didn't need it anyways. There's still a lot of yummy treats here. I wanted a cake pop, but who took all the cake pops? Uh, uh-uh. No, sir. This is not what we're about to do. Hey, give me that back. You can have one cake pop. Tell me which one you want, and I'll give it to you. But you are overdoing it, mister. Don't make me call home, because the phone is right over there. No, please don't. I want the pumpkin. Man, that's the one I wanted. Well, you're getting Frankenstein. So, have a good day. Go sit down and eat with your friends. Y'all couldn't even leave me a slice of pizza. Let me have the cake pop I want. Oh, this looks so delicious. All right, let me try this. Mmm, 
Hmm. Okay, kids. I'm already seeing dirty plates. Make sure to clean up. We have a trash can for a reason. That trash can looking a little full now that I'm thinking about it. I'll take it out later. These janitors at this school do not do their job well. Okay, um, what else do I want? A slice of this Halloween cake. Okay, so the first movie is Halloween Town. The second movie is Twitches. Twitches is a little scary though. And the third movie is Hocus Pocus. Twitches, Twitches, Halloween Town, Halloween Town, Halloween Town, please. Okay, that's two votes for Halloween Town. No, Twitches, Halloween Town. Okay, everyone is saying Halloween Town. Leah, it's okay. We can watch Twitches as soon as we get home, I promise. Because you know I love me some Tia and Tamara. All right, let me go ahead and put the movie on. And I will go sit down. Let me grab a witch's brew too before these kids take everything. Because they are stingy. And I'll go relax at my desk. Okay, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for the Halloween special this year. I really hope you enjoyed watching. And if you are going trick-or-treating tonight... Please be safe and check your candy. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!